on this channel. It's about keeping it real, everyday issues. Let's see what we can get into today. What's happening, guys? On this Saturday here at here at Coles. We are at Coles. And I can honestly tell you, been to one, two, this would be the third store. And it is a madhouse already. It's a madhouse. People going crazy buying all kinds of stuff. You know, these stores says that they were going to kick off their Black Friday deals around 5 p.m. on Thanksgiving Day. I think they already started because uh, people are flocking to the stores like crazy. I can't believe it. That's why I'm sitting in the car right now. Yeah, I just actually went into... Um, Giant Eagle, which is a grocery store, and it is a madhouse in there. An absolute madhouse. People are in there fighting over turkeys. No, not really, but it's really crowded. Um, people getting geared up for Thanksgiving, and uh, you know, uh, the only thing I got to do for Thanksgiving is uh, get a couple of pies. This year, going to go to my, my wife and I are going to go to my sister's place. We're going to have Thanksgiving and uh, won't get to see my family uh, here around Christmas time. So um, Thanksgiving's the only time I'm going to get to see them. So <clears throat> it's an absolute madhouse. I'm telling you, people are flocking. Uh, I'm actually up on a hillside right now but this is it, you can't really see it from here guys but the whole entire parking lot and it stretches all the way out i mean all the way out there's cars parked almost all the way towards the back it's crazy i said to my wife what's the deal what is is there like something going on that we're not aware of because there's a lot of people shopping today and she was telling me a target they already have the skids. You know how they have skids set up. Those of you who live in the States and know about Black Friday, they have these skids of all the products. Um, the stuff is actually still boxed. They don't have it unboxed. And she said that that is up and down the aisles. So they're they're getting ready for, for Black Friday uh, sales. But what is, what is bringing the people in today? Because it, it's almost like it is Black Friday already. People are just going crazy in the stores. Anyhow, had an extremely busy week this week. Uh, got caught in a snowstorm coming back from Philadelphia on, I believe it was, I don't know, Tuesday or Wednesday. And uh, I, I can honestly say the Pennsylvania Turnpike Commission, I give them an F. F. They failed. They failed big time with maintaining that highway.
the, the turnpike during that storm. A four-hour trip, a four-hour trip coming back, and it took me 12. Because you can only drive about 40 to 45 mile an hour the whole way. Why? Because they were only plowing the eastbound of the turnpike. They were not plowing or putting salt down on the westbound. Why? I don't know. But they had more than enough trucks that should be going in both directions, and that's not how it was. At least 10 tractor trailers. Four of them all collided with one another. Okay? The rest of them slid out, or they jackknifed. Why? I blame it on the conditions of the road. Now, anytime there's a storm, I get it, man. It, it's hard to keep up with that stuff. But this was different because they were not maintaining the westbound lane on the turn. So as you could see, um, the conditions weren't all that great. And trust me, once I was no longer recording, the further I was going, the worse it was getting. It was getting really bad and I just couldn't believe it guys I was just like why are they not plowing and why are they not putting salt down on the westbound I, I couldn't have, all seriousness all the plow trucks every single one that we had seen was going eastbound they were not going west so I blame the Pennsylvania turnpike commission for most of those accidents that happened on the turnpike because they were not maintaining them very well listen guys you have enough staff you have enough drivers you got enough trucks loaded with salt with plows to get them out there just keep on rolling through keep rolling through until you run out of salt and have to go reload which brings me to another interesting topic as we were approaching what is called the blue mountain area there was finally two plow trucks loaded with salt plowing one in the left lane one in the right lane and they were working together they were plowing and salting at the same time about a half of a mile they reached their reload stations where they turn off the turnpike to go have them fill their trucks with salt. They both turned off and went into the station. And I'm thinking, why are they turning off? They only plowed a half of a mile or so and put salt down, but they turned off and went into that station. From that point on, We were basically driving over unplowed roads with no salt. Yeah, guys, 12 hours, 12 hours. Um, and they did have the speed down to 40 mile an hour. And at some point you were doing 35. I thought 
this has got to be one of the most bizarre things that I had ever seen on a turnpike, especially with the kind of money that the people are paying to travel that turnpike. Why are they not maintaining the highway? That day in the morning when I was heading towards Philadelphia, they had their guys and their plow trucks loaded with salt. Now, now, mind you, the roads were dry at that point. But they were all sitting within a couple of miles of each other, sitting and waiting for this storm to hit. And wouldn't it just so happen to be they're all sitting on the eastbound side? There wasn't any sitting on the westbound I, I'm honestly telling you guys that there were no plow trucks running westbound. None that we ran into. And it's 200 plus miles. Okay. 200 plus miles. It took 12 hours to, to drive that to get back. Um, so, thumbs down to the Pennsylvania Turnpike Commission. You get... A F. You get an F. A failing grade on maintaining the roads during a winter storm. I think they did a lousy job. And a lot of those guys, a lot of that stuff could have been prevented, I think, if they hadn't had them maintained better. And, you know, like I said, I get it. I understand. When there's a storm, it's hard to keep up with that. But when you're only working on one side and not the other... There's something wrong with that picture. So, anyhow, we got Thanksgiving coming. I hope you all have a lot to be thankful for. I know I do. And um, this is it. We, uh, My wife and I are starting to get our things all together for our trip. And, uh, man, it's just time is going fast. I don't know if you guys, time is just flying by. It's flying by. It's unbelievable. I mean, it just seems like. It just seems like November just got here and we're already towards the end of November. It's really something, man. I can't, I guess it is true. The older you get, the faster time flies. Right, 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 right. So um, try to make the best of what you got every single day. So that's all. I'm just ranting and raving. Okay, just ranting and raving. That's all I'm doing. Um, so I will... See you guys in the next video. Until then, I uh, hope you all have a happy Thanksgiving for those of you that celebrate it here in the States. For those of you that don't, you still have yourselves a happy, thankful day. If that made any sense, it really didn't, but oh well. That's all I could come up with. So, um, what else? What else? I still wished I knew what was going on. Why are so many people flocking to the stores like this? And you ought to see people. You ought to see people shopping for Thanksgiving. It's unbelievable. I mean, I don't know. It's like, got to get that turkey. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We got we to gotta get that turkey. People are all just like all bunched together, all looking at all these turkeys and I got to get the biggest one because you got so many people coming over and, and there's a lot of people I noticed were buying two turkeys too, because they, they probably have learned through the years that one turkey is not enough for their family. So they end up making two turkeys. So turkeys just put you to sleep anyways. So you eat it. You just want to take a nap. Anyhow, guys, that's all I got. Happy Thanksgiving to y'all. And uh, I'll talk to you in the next video. Peace out. Bye-bye.